Hi everyone, this time the object is located between C and F. Where do you think will our image be located? Let's find out. First, let's perform the first principal ray and that is the PF ray. Okay, so what is P? It is a ray of light parallel to the principal axis. So we're going to draw a ray of light that is parallel to the principal axis. Okay, next let's perform the F ray, and that is a reflected ray passing through the focal point or the focus. Okay, so this is our first principal ray. This is the P, F ray. The second principal ray is what we call the F, P ray. Now, what is F? It is a ray of light passing through the focal point first. Okay, so this is our focal point. Passing through the focal point first. P ray is a reflected ray that is parallel to the principal axis. So this is our P ray. So we have here F, P ray. Do we have reflected rays that intersect at a specific point? Where do you think it is? Is it at this side? No. Is it at this side? Yes. So this is where our image is located now since the reflected rays intersect below the principal axis therefore our image is inverted okay so that is our image so this time let's describe the image formed when the object's location is between c and f the image is located beyond c so let's have the image is located beyond c still in front of the mirror but specifically it is located beyond c next is the orientation it is upside down or inverted its size is bigger or larger compared to the object so this time the image the image is enlarged or magnified while the type of image formed is a real image because it is formed using real rays so these are real rays coming from the source of light okay so this is a real image since it is also formed in front of the mirror so that's it